So let's talk about the BCIC. Yeah. Uh, like we said. Well, hold on. Before you go into that, your man uh -huh. was on here uh -huh. saying, yo, the CIAA got to come back to Charlotte. Uh, okay. What, yeah, what's my yeah. man's name? I'm sorry. Uh, uh, you talking about Ghost Man. Ghost Man. Yeah. You know, shout out to Ghost Man. Yeah, yeah. He had the, the, the wing recommendations and the food yeah, spots. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I watched yeah. the episode. It was dope. Uh -huh. Listen, man, for everybody who's like, yo, we want the CIAA to come back to Charlotte, mm -hmm. I'm not going to get into that, right? I, I'm not going to speak on the CIAA. But listen, we have the opportunity to have not just one conference be here, but all four, or excuse me, four different conferences right. participate in a tournament that we're going to crown an HBCU champion. Right. Like, yo, we, there, there's never been an entity like this. This is the first of its kind. Yeah. So we need everybody to come out and support this. If y'all thought the afterlife and whatnot, the, the after party and the nightlife was dope during uh, CIAA, we have just some things, CIAA. Just CIAA. Mm -hmm. We have some things planned that, again, are going to showcase all four of the conferences, all four of the cultures, mm -hmm. the, the, the differences in the culture with all yeah. four conferences. So we need y'all to come out and support, yo, and buy yeah. tickets. Yeah. Like, can I be candid real quick? Please do. So we got one shot at this, mm -hmm. like literally. Again, I can't speak on CIAA. I can't speak on what's going to happen or what's coming back or whatever. All I know is we have this now, and we got one opportunity. We have to sell 10,000 tickets, mm -hmm. and we need to be able to show $10 million in economic impact. Y'all, we can do this. Mm -hmm. Pro other tournaments, I'm not going to say which, but other tournaments that have been in Charlotte have uh, done over $20 million in economic impact. Mm -hmm. They've sold upwards of 25,000, 30,000 tickets. 10,000 tickets is not a great... It's not like this this astronomical number. But if we only come back to party, then I can assure y'all we probably won't have this again. Mm. It won't be here. Right. Like I had to go through hell and high water to be able to bring this to a place in which I love. We are having several different givebacks. Like this is a community endeavor. We're working with a lot of local folk, mm -hmm. but we gotta support this, y'all. Like yeah. we can't, excuse my language, we can't bullshit. Mm -hmm. We can't play around. We can't just say we coming only to turn up or we not, it's going to be one and done. Yeah. So, you know, my bad for nah, you're maybe good. going and all we, of that. We, let's, let's keep it going. Yeah. So as you saying, not only showing up just to turn up, me asking around the Charlatans in regards to CIAA, CIAA weekend. Did you yeah. experience it by the way? Yeah, I went for okay. 10 years straight. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, yeah. so <laughs> one of the things that they, uh, a lot of them said was that the city benefited from CIAA weekend, but not the, not the actual conference in CIAA mm -hmm. because they didn't sell as many tickets as, or this, the conference didn't make as much money because the tickets didn't match the amount of people that were in the city that mm. came just to party. That's something I heard. I didn't do research on it. That's just what I'm hearing from charlatans. Yeah. So my question for you, put you in the hot seat. Yeah. How can you assure that the conferences will benefit and the actual tournament will be paid attention to and not people just wanting to show up to party? Yeah, it's a great question. So again, I, I'm not going to speak on CIAA business. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm not going to speak on their yeah, business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I, I, I will say though for us, we are providing $10,000 to every team that comes and participates in the BCIC. Okay. They will get a $10,000 award again just for coming. We're covering all meals, all travel, all hotel and lodging. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, we'll have a high school education day. So those will be um, two days, Thursday and Friday at the Bowplex Coliseum. We're going to have a step show. We'll have a um, closing concert. I can't say with who, but uh, I think... People can kind of deduce who, okay. who, who will be here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So we will have that going. Then we'll have a empowerment luncheon um, with all of the student athletes, um, in which we have some. I can't announce who yet, but we got some folks who people in the city really will want to see yeah. um, come in and speak to our student athletes about financial literacy, um, financial and economic empowerment, NIL, entrepreneurship, and so forth. Uh, and then within the community, we're starting partnerships with the alumni associations that are here. Mm -hmm. um, so there, are, if I'm not mistaken, 72 um, HBCU alumni associations that are in Charlotte. So they'll be selling their own tickets uh, with their own special discount code. Mm -hmm. But more than anything else, you'll see a list of black businesses who will be our preferred business uh, vendors mm -hmm. that we're encouraging everyone to go and partake in while they're here in Charlotte. We're anticipating having over a million people come just for BCIC. Mm -hmm. So again, with a million people is our goal, selling 
uh, 10,000 or 25,000 tickets mm -hmm. shouldn't be, you right. know, uh, something that's that's too crazy. Right. And then those monies will be, again, going back into the community through the several different endeavors. So what will we do different to ensure people come? The high school bands will actually be playing um, during the games okay. uh, at the BCIC. So we're not going to necessarily have the schools bring their bands. Mm -hmm. There'll be the local bands playing. So you want to come support the babies. We're going to have, um, well, I can't really say the next part, but a lot of different things yeah. that are enticing local people who are born and raised from here to be a part of the actual tournament. The Bojangles Coliseum only holds 8,300 people. Mm -hmm. So again, over four days, can we sell 25,000 tickets? Like, or, or, you know, can we hit our minimum of, of 10,000 tickets yeah. uh, being sold? Like, can we pack this joint out? Mm -hmm. I mean, even if you look at uh, 25,000 tickets, that's roughly, you know, give or take 7,000 a day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, can we can we do that? I firmly believe that we can. Oh yeah. At a bare minimum, can we do 2,500 tickets a right. day? Right. Like, I firmly believe we can. And these are the things that we're gonna have to show, uh, quite frankly, the city of Charlotte as a whole that we can do this. Because mm -hmm. I think they're, um, and, and I will say, you know, the city has been, they've been gracious partners. Shout out to Mayor Lyles. Shout out to Councilman Smudgy Mitchell. They've been they've been very gracious and great partners. But there are some people who don't think that this can happen mm. or that we can do do it the right way. Just like old boy who said you going to HBCU, that yeah, won't exactly. lead to you becoming the person exactly. and the figure that you are today. You it, need that. Exactly. We need that. So, yeah. you know, we have a, a very robust marketing plan. Um, shout out to my man. We edit. We edit. Yeah, okay. I can I can edit stuff out right, if you need so, to. <clears throat> Shout out to my man, Terrence J, who's just been announced as an ambassador nice. for BCIC. Um, and I think I want you all to go to our Instagram page. You'll see uh, him talking about the tournament there. Uh, he'll be here. And we have a list of other ambassadors, including Wanda Durant, Mama Durant. Um, nice. Yeah, uh, Jeezy on our board of directors. I mean, there's, there's several different people who are, are coming and they want to be supportive of this endeavor. And now we just need us to support it. Mm -hmm. I'm saying? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. Yeah. Definitely got my support. Good, Cause like good. I said, that's how this even happens. So let me shout out to your team. I think her name is Ariel. Was it yeah, Ariel? Yeah, Ar yeah, yeah, yeah. Ariel. Yeah, shout yeah. out to Ariel Fema setting this up because yeah. she came across the CIAA weekend uh, post that I made, mm -hmm. the reel that I made. And um, yeah, it was full circle because right as I made that, a lot of people were either tagging me or sending me a DM like, yo, I heard something's coming next okay, year. Okay. You know what I mean? So no. then she followed me and sent me a DM. I was like, hey, this is what we got going on. I was like, okay, that's what's up. Like, yeah. I would love to help. Yeah. And then she connected us too. So shout out to your team for even, you know, yeah. setting this up. So yeah. we have a great team, man, from, yeah. from Ari to Russ to Josh, um, to Steve. I mean, we have Kareem. There's a lot of folks on the team. Um, there's definitely not a solo endeavor. And then our gracious partners, Van Wagner, they have been great. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, we, we really want to make this, you know, something really dope for the yeah. community, yeah. dope for the city. Uh, a few of us, are, some of us are from down south. A couple of folks are from Charlotte. Mm -hmm. We're partnering with a lot of local uh, party promoters and, and to create different and curate different experiences. Yeah. So, you know, we want to make sure everybody eat. Yeah. But we got to do this right, y'all. Or if not, we're not going to be able to have it again. Yeah. And I really hope that this can be something we can have for 20, 25, 50 Life years. Yeah, Life it changing. leads. It lives longer than any of us. Yeah. Our kids, you know, will be talking about how you gonna have some kids and they gonna be talk, talking with my daughters about right. how their dads was having a yeah. podcast talking about BCIC. That's crazy. And you know, that's that's really what this is about. This yeah. is for us. We don't need anybody else. Right. We don't have to beg anybody else to play in their tournament. Right. We don't gotta wonder why our schools didn't get picked or why we always get in the 16th yeah. seed. We can go and do this for us. We can pay our schools for coming. Because mm -hmm. for those who don't know, the schools don't get paid to play in the NIT. Mm -hmm. Don't get they don't get paid to play in some of these other new postseason mm -hmm. tournaments. We're paying our institutions to come and play because we value them. We're paying our student athletes. We're providing them with an experience that's first class. Yeah. We have all of our hotel rooms under two hundred and forty dollars. Mm -hmm. Many of them under two hundred dollars. You can yeah. go check the website and reserve your room. Our tickets are affordable. They're only forty dollars. They're forty four dollars. Mm -hmm. Like. We we want again to make this a world class, first class experience for us, led by us, and benefiting us. That's what's up, man. Let me ask you, how did this even come about? Man, yo, I'll tell you. So shout out to my man Josh and HBCU Nightly. Um, so last year we were uh, I, I went to I like to support the MIAC basketball tournament. It's in Norfolk. Um, so I go down and watch the games. Mm -hmm. Um <clears throat> Shout out to the mayor, Kenny Alexander and, and Danica Royster. Like I we, I was going to the games, right? And um, I thought Norfolk State had a really good season. 
um, a really good season. There were a couple schools, I don't want to single them out, there, there were a couple schools that had really good seasons, had yeah. beat some power fives, and I thought their records justified them having the ability to play in a postseason tournament, okay. specifically Norfolk State. Yeah. They lost in there um, during the conference tournament, and they didn't receive an at-large bid to the tournament. Mm. So I was looking online and, on, on Twitter, and you know, and people were saying like, yo, this, that's, that's crazy, this is mm. why we need our own. And um, I hit Josh up and I was like, bro, you know, we don't really know each other like that, but I've been thinking about like doing our own tournament. And he was like, yo, you know, we saw we were just tweeting about, let's let's do it. So we were having some conversations. We were talking to some other people and there were a few other people who were also you know, trying to do similar. Yeah. It kind of fizzled out. And this is probably where it's gonna sound crazy, bro. Like, so that was in March, you know, April conversations. We were starting to just fizzled out. I had a dream in December. Mm -hmm. And yo, that it was as like as clear as day, like God telling me, go do the tournament. Yeah. Like be obedient. Go do the tournament. Mm -hmm. And I hit Josh and I'm like, yo, bro, we got to do the tournament. And he was like, yeah, you know, I'm still with you. I've just been really busy. So I was like, it's all good. Don't worry about it. Put together a proposal. Um, started talking to different people who I knew were in the space. So Craig Littlepage was the athletic director at University of Virginia, but he served on the NCAA um, selection committee. Mm -hmm. So I hit him up like, yo, you know, thinking about doing this tournament, he sent me like 15 questions back mm -hmm. about these are the things the NCAA will ask you. Yeah. We had a meeting with the NCAA. They gave us approval. I spoke to my president um, at Virginia State, Makola Abdullah. And he was like, yo, that's something that I always want to do too, you know, like blah, blah, blah. Yeah. We started talking, spoke to our AD, uh, Peggy, um, Miss Peggy Davis. They kind of geared me and steered me in terms of different conversations. And then I just started talking to folks. Um, came down, had a meeting in Charlotte with uh, Councilman Mitchell. He was like, oh, I love this. Eventually it led to us having conversations and being connected to Van Wagner. Um, uh, Julius Grant was the VP at Van Wagner. Mm -hmm. He was like, yo, uh, you know, Commissioner McWilliams told me this was coming. And this, 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 this proposal is serious. Wound up talking to all the commissioners, meeting with several ADs. Then finally came and had some more formal conversations with the city to secure the venue. Um, and you know, while it was bumpy, uh, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna get into like, you know, all of, all of mm -hmm. that. It was, it was a challenge, but in the grand scheme of things, it went relatively quickly, like from December having the dream mm -hmm. to the formal announcement in August. Yeah. And and now in March, we're actually gonna have the tournament mm -hmm. along with several other events. It's it's going pretty fast. And again, it's it's really just, I believe, being obedient in God's favor because there's been, I think, no less than 25 other uh entities that have tried to put together HBCU postseason tournaments. Mm. And we're the first one to be able to to move forward in this direction. Yeah, get this. So going. yeah, I think, that's you know, that's what happens. That's what's up, man. Um and just a breakdown of the tournament itself yeah. and the details and everything. Yeah, so it's going to be dope. So the tournament takes place um, on, two, uh, excuse me, March 20th through the 23rd. Mm -hmm. That's a Thursday through a Sunday. We'll be inviting teams from um, all four of the HBCU Power Four conferences. So essentially what will transpire is when schools win their conference tournament, they get an automatic bid to the NCAA tournament, which they will accept. Nice. Um, which we we respect, but the teams who come in second place, who mm -hmm. lose in the conference championship, they will get an automatic invitation to our tournament, and then the team with the highest, the next highest net ranking, mm -hmm. will get an automatic invitation to our tournament as well. So that's kind of the selection committee, if you will. Okay. So that'll be two teams from each of the the four conferences. That gives you eight teams. Mm -hmm. We have a men's tournament and a women's tournament, so that's how you get 16 teams. Yeah. We're gonna have a golf tournament that takes place to kick everything off on um, Tuesday, March 18th. Then Wednesday, we'll have a welcome to Charlotte reception along with our student empowerment luncheon. Um, that'll be again Wednesday the 19th. And then the actual games start on March 20th, Thursday, March 20th. Mm -hmm. um, high School Education Day will take place in the morning on both that Friday, excuse me, that Thursday and Friday. Mm -hmm. Then the goal is for those students to come to the game. Right. And then, uh, yeah, the games will take place again Thursday through Sunday is single elimination. Um, the Division Ones will play each other. Division Twos will play each other. Okay. And then subsequently, the champions will be crowned on Saturday and Sunday. Um, and we, we're, again, looking forward to having a, a first-class experience. Step show, um, Battle of the Bands, uh, Education Day, golf tournament. I mean, it's a full week-on experience that yeah. we really believe is going to be first-class. Uh, it's not cheap. 
Mm -hmm. but we believe in um, putting our money where our mouth is yeah. and showing our people that they're valued. And this is kind of how we show our value to our people by not cutting corners, yeah. not not doing anything second class. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hoping that everybody comes out and supports. Yeah, they will. We will, man. That's what's up, man. So yeah. shout out to you. Got to give you a prop. Shout out yeah. to you. Shout out to the dream. Um, the other partner is Josh. Did you yeah, yeah, my shout man, out Josh. Josh. Like, yeah, Josh, shout out Russ. Josh serves as our chief marketing officer. Russ is our CEO. Russ yeah. bought some stuff over yeah, yeah. for you earlier. Russ is like Superman. He lives here in Charlotte. He does a he does a lot of work. Yeah, he got here quick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. He that's that's my man. He's one of my best friends. Um, we went to school together. He went to Claflin. I went to South Carolina State, and he's he's been a huge help. I mean, our whole team. It's really come together. Like. Mm -hmm. As a whole, people have been hitting us up like, yeah, we want to support. Mm -hmm. How can we help? Can we do this? Can we do that? And and it's been a labor of love. Like none of us are getting paid. Yeah. Like none of us are, you know, we we making no bread. We, we're just doing it because we feel it's the right thing to do. We're actually paying out of pocket yeah. to do a lot of this stuff. But nonetheless, we believe that it's going to be great for the culture and we all will benefit. That's what's up, man. So shout out to y'all for that. Yeah.